There we have the polythene. From where first, isn't it? Or Premier? Is it first or Premier? Aye. The logo looks first, familiar. First, Aye. First but it's a wee bit windy, so we'll see if it goes on. The hotspot tape's on, the braces are in the middle and they're placed appropriately for the tomatoes that we'll hang a string from. And hopefully there won't be too much weight on it. I'll add this on to something that'll fill on later, maybe once the polythene's on. Okay, it's now Saturday 27th of April. Polythene cover's on, but things aren't entirely finished. Uh, go to this end first. See it's kind of pleated there at the sides. My dad had had the idea of having the pleats downwards so that the water runs out of them as opposed to kind of catching the water like in the pleats but it didn't really work when you're tensioning it you, the pleats can't really be made to go downwards. Maybe they can but we couldn't manage it. But yes, uh, I think that actually looks quite good. It's relatively taut. But, aye, uh, it's hot in here, Dad. Just saying it's hot in here. It's hot in here even with the ends open. But, uh, so, what was the routine again? We attached it. Where did we attach it first? I think we attached it up here first, didn't we? Yeah. You know, at, at one end. At both ends. We attached it at one end and then stretched it to the other end. We attached it there, on this, under this. In the middle, aye. We put the fixings in there so you can still move it and pull it out. Aye. It, you know, you and then you down. stretch it to the other gable end down there. And then once you've got that on, Thanks. we attached it in the middle round the side, down here. There you go. And, and then you... You work your way along. You, uh, you work your way along and make sure it's all fixed on this side. Aye, uh, right, uh, that's right. And then we obviously, it's over the tunnel by this point and we tensioned it on the other side. So, aye. Uh, no, on this side you then tension it and you fix the middle. And work your way out again. Way one end. Pulling it, it pulling it over and the to the way. gable end. So it's quite, it's quite... It's quite tight for not having moved the uh, hoops okay. up either, because I think what they do with the, with the ones you purchase, you move the hoops afterwards to really tighten it. I can explain we're going to leave that in there, Jamie, if you stop weed Aye, we're leaving that. It's an extra slug barrier and we'll cover it in stones so that you don't need to get too close to the polytunnel with a strimmer or a lawnmower. The clumps were used in vain, we tried to weigh down the polythene while the wind was blowing but a gust of wind just blew the clumps right up and off. Uh, but yes, I'll add this on to the other video and you see the polythene sheet lying out. Uh, we're going to try and put the doors on today, then I'll maybe add an RV bit of footage on. Thanks. Okay, Sunday, 28th of April. Polythene's on. Uh, the doors are on. It's as tight as we can get it, really. You can see the hot spot tape underneath the plastic. Uh, the way the wood juts out the water pipe means that there's a wee bit of loose plastic there just because of the way the the angle of it all and we had to sort of staple I'd cut that at an angle first it didn't leave it square cut it at an angle and we had to sort of put a bit of padding underneath it to protect the polythene we've just filled that in with clods and put the plastic under the ground by a sort of barrier and also we'll sort of fill it with stones maybe put a wee kerb just so we're not mowing too close to the polytunnel, but I dug that out so the doors can open right the way up, fill it with bark. 
but yep that's the doors on the doors are on and we've sort of velcroed the plastic to the front yet at the moment so that when we take it off we've got the mesh in the inside so if we've ever got anything in it that we don't want pest to get in that hope that mesh will hopefully you know minimize the problem but we'll cover it in that black weed proof membrane and then we'll bark it and that'll be just about it tomatoes will be just about there we've got the two things in the middle which do stiffen it all up when we were thinking about hanging the tomatoes from that but it might be too much weight because there is a bit of movement in there just a wee bit but not too much but we'll need something we'll need to do something with the beds on the outside as well either another brace along you know both or just use bamboo canes and be very careful not to put them through the policies and there's the where we're going to put the potting bench in there which will be quite handy so aye there's the doors open I'll put, I'll, someone did ask, I will put in the description at some point more details and try and, you know, make things a bit more uh, detailed in what I'm telling you here now. But, we've not, they show you with the one, the polytunnels you buy, they raise the, the hoops to tension it, but it's fairly... I mean, it's not you know, super tight, but it's, it's tight, do you know what I mean? There's, a, there's quite a bit of tension when you're inside and you're under there, and you can see it, you know, pushing up above a wee bit, the hoops. You can see the slope there, but uh, we didn't want to tension it too much and start stretching the plastic. But we think it's cost about 500 quid. So for reference, uh, well, ones that you would buy, I don't know how much ones you would buy would be, they might be near 800, but 500 British pounds. Try and get it all on the shot. I'll add this on the other video, and uh, that'll be all for the moment. Cheers.